I remember Jim Jeffcoat uh, and Jim who played great for us for several years early but Jim was, was sitting in the chair you're in mm -hmm. and he said Mr. Jones right as he was finishing some business with me he said Mr. Jones we're not going to win one Super Bowl said, I've never seen anything like the group we've got together. And he said, uh, we're going to win Super Bowls. And sure enough, we took off and won three out of the next four uh, after he said that. But he said, I feel it. We've just got that kind of uh, thing going for us as a team. And between Dion and between uh, 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 Troy, Emmett, we had the uh, largest contracts that were signed. Uh, for, let's say, a defensive player, mm -hmm. certainly an offense player. Troy was the highest paid player in the NFL. And then Emmett was the highest paid running back in the NFL. Jason Witten's mm -hmm. uh, last contract. Uh, Jason, of course, had uh, was disappointed initially that he didn't get drafted and should have been in the first round. Mm -hmm. And so he was a third round pick. And all he's done, the record shows, is just have resolve over that and show them. And of course he has. We're here that day, we do the contract. I, my car sits right outside that door. And I walked out to get in the car and finish up. And he came behind me, and I didn't know he was behind me, turned me around, looked me straight in the eye. Wasn't quite a hug, but looked me straight in the eye. He said, I'll never forget you for doing this, and I'll never let you down. That's Jason Whitten. I emphasize to them that in the case of many of them, if all they ever did was pay their taxes and put it in the bank and draw interest, they would uh, take care of everybody they love or going to love for the rest of their life. And I suggest to them, don't be putting that in businesses. If somebody wants your name, let them put all the money up, let them do the work while you're playing football, and you share what that's worth. And one of the best listeners and one of the best practicers of what I'm talking about was Larry Allen. And Larry to this day is one of the most successful financial players that have ever played in this league. Unfortunately, we've had a lot of visits in here when we were talking about things that uh, uh, weren't uh, as, as positive. I'll never forget uh, uh, Michael Irvin. We uh, woke up and there was a huge uh, double truck front page about Michael and several of the players' uh, White House a house that they uh, used to kind of get away from uh, the public in here. And so um, I'd ask him to go back and get him. And when he came through the door, I just popped that page up in front of him and I said, what in the hell, what in the world is going on here? What are we doing? And he looked over at me and he said, Jerry, he said, all I can say is this is just the classic case of trying to do the wrong thing the right way. And in doing so, how do you stay mad at somebody that'd give you a uh, comment like that? The other times I can remember when uh, uh, there were accusations about him, and uh, I'll never forget in same same office. And uh, he said, uh, I, just, I just don't know anything about this. I don't understand it. There were accusations about him and Eric Williams. And then he said, where is this supposed to have happened? And I said, well, it happened at Eric's house. He starts jumping up and down and grabbing me, bouncing me all over this office and what have you. He said, I've never been to his house. I've never been to his house. Says, this thing's as false as anything I've ever heard. But uh, so there have been some, uh, you know, uh, really uh, uh, long-term bonding experiences that have had both positives and joyous and be really not so uh, joyous at the moment. I'll never forget Michael was doing pretty much his own negotiation on uh, his second contract. Second. And so he was sitting right there in those chairs and I was sitting over there and uh, he had that straight face on. It was so difficult, I know, for him to discuss with me because uh, uh, I just had such a great feeling for him on a personal basis. And so uh, he said, this is what it's got to be. And I said, Michael, there's an old, I was straight face. I said, Michael, there's an old West Texas town. It's not, it's called uh, El Paso. You know of it? And he said, I sure do. I said, repeat it, El Paso. He said, El Paso. I said, I, El Paso. 
I'm not going for this. <laughs> he starts laughing. Give me the thing. I'm going to sign it. And goes up there and signs it.